Greetings, historians. Uh, I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can. So this is uh, uh, working through the template for the second case study. Uh, and we're going to imagine that I am in love with the Parthenon, uh, which I, you know, I kind of am. So it's good. It works out. So I'm, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. I'm holding down my alt, the Alt key and using my mouse wheel to zoom in and out. And it zooms in based on wherever my, my uh, cursor is. So I want to zoom into where that title is. I can also scroll up here and figure that out. There we go. Double click on the text and it gets me in there. And I can put in the Parthenon. I'm going to do it in caps. Parthenon. The location is in Athens, Greece. The year built. Let's see if I can figure that out. Here's the Googles. The Googles tells me construction began in 447 BC. Uh, we don't know when it ended, but I'm going to say 447 BC. 47. Mm -hmm. And the architect was, who was the architect? Hmm. We don't know who that was. Let's see, architect Parthenon. I'm gonna guess that we don't know. Well, we have a few few people here. So I'm gonna put a few, I'm gonna snap that over there, snap that over here. I'm gonna scroll into here and I'm gonna put in, yes, Ictinus. It's a very fortunate name. And Calicrate. Calicrates, also an unfortunate name. Uh, if any of you have ever have children in your lives, don't name them Calicrates, because you'll look like this guy. That's that's not a good thing. Okay, so we've got the Parthenon. Uh, we know what my name is. My name is Steet. No, wait. It's, what is my name? John. There we go. And I know that this is fall 2016. All right. So now I want to put some text in here. That's an overview. Uh, let's just take this. Boom. And we'll do this. Boom. Uh, we've got some weird stuff in here because it's giving me weird characters. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Parthenon is is a former temple, and we know what that what that's all about. I've got some paragraphs that I want to separate out, and that's the end of that. So that's my first page. I'm done. So I, wait, I need a picture though. I need a good picture. Uh, there's one. Uh, right click and copy that image. I can also download the original, but I want to do this easily. Right click, copy, and then um, I can go into here and I can go uh, um, edit paste. But I'm just gonna and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna edit paste in place. And that sticks it right there. So I'll put it over here. Come on, get there like that. So pictures have uh, the picture and then there's the frame. So those are the two separate things that comes in when you do InDesign. So there's the picture. If I double click, you see a little brown frame there. That's That tells me I'm looking at the picture. If I click once, it's a blue frame and that's the frame. So I'm going to do the frame first, do that. So it crops the image, right? So I want to recenter it. The way I can do this, right click on the image, fitting, fill frame proportionately. Now, for some reason, let's put all my text in the background because, you know, what comes in first goes on top. So I can right click again, arrange, um, send, well, I don't want to send, to, well, I'll send two back. I'll do that. I didn't want to do that because now I've got that weird frame. So let me click on this and delete it. There we go. Perfect. I can't see my name because the, uh, it looks like the, the, the image right there is a little bright. So I'm just going to slide that up, maybe align that. So you can see if I'm just moving it around, I get these little snaps all over the place. This is what, um, uh, uh, InDesign is so good at a snapping to all this kind of stuff. So I've got that. Now i got to figure out where this is. So I'm alt and zooming in to this map that my awesome instructor gave me. And I'm going to put this wherever it is in the world. So this is a little shaky and I can't tell exactly where I am. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on it and then right click. And I'm going to go down to display performance high quality. And I bet I, ooh, fancy. So I know I'm in Athens, right? Athens is somewhere around here, close enough. There I go. There I am in the world. Now the next image I want to do is a map. So I'm going to go to uh, Google Earth here, and I'm going to type in the Parthenon. Parthenon. Come on, Parthenon. I'm going to do this in chunks. Just you know, these are in 15-minute chunks. This is a this, the screen cast only lets me go a little while. But while this is doing this, I'm going to zoom in. Uh, okay, so I'm zooming in here. Uh, I think I want to get a little further out first. I want to see where I am in the region first. Um, and I've got other stuff, Thebes and Mycenae. I've got some of my other ones around here. It's always nice to have those as reference, but you don't need to have them. But I at least want to get far enough apart so I can, so people can kind of see where I am. Um, 
And then I'm going to do, you can do the snippet tool, uh, or you can do uh, the print screen, which is right next to the home. So if you hit hold on function and home, that prints the screen. I go over to uh, InDesign, and I uh, click somewhere in here, and I go Control V. That pastes it. And again, I'm going to manipulate the frame down to the screen size. And then I'm going to do um, the fill frame proportionately, which is that right fitting fill frame proportionately. And it shows some of the screen, which I'm not too crazy about. So I'm going to double click in so I get into the image. Here's the image. And I can scale the image. So you see how I can sort of free scale? If I hold down the shift key, then it scales proportionately and it doesn't get out of whack. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to do that. Um, you can crop out the Google Earth stuff because you're going to credit it somewhere else. Uh, if I want to make sure this came in at a decent resolution, I can hit my display performance as high quality. And there I am. I'm in the Parthenon. So I'm going to do, the next one I'm going to do is going to be zoomed in. Uh, and I kind of want to see what I'm zooming into. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to go um, arrange, send to back. Uh, there's my other frame. I'm going to delete that. So I've got the square that I gave you. So I'm going to imagine, I can click on the edge of that square and then I can move it around. I'm going to imagine that the next map that I do is probably going to zoom in pretty tight. So again, I'm hitting these and clicking and dragging and I'm going down to, maybe I'm going to go down to there. So then I'm going to do the next map. I'm going to delete this uh, thing for this time. Okay, um, map, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. It's a new word. And then I'm going to function print screen. Uh, then I'm going back to InDesign, Control V to paste. Uh, let's make the frame happen. Here comes the frame. Uh, double click on here, hold down the shift key to scale it down, just a, the, the image down just a little bit. Uh, I don't want that Google in there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Something like that. Is that pretty close to what I framed in on? Uh, Eh, yeah, I'm just going to go back here and change this one a little bit. Something like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so the next one I want to do, I'm going to delete this again. And the next one I want to do is going to be pretty tight in. So I'm going to come in here pretty tightly. I want to at least look at this relative to the city of Athens. I want to see the city of Athens. So I want to get a little bit of that coast in there. I want to see where it is relative to maybe the city center. So it might not be perfectly centered. Maybe something like that. Uh, function print screen. Control V. Change that frame around. Come on, frame. Uh, come on, just get to the edge of the page. It should snap pretty well. You should be able to get in there. I'm going to double click in there and uh scale this down a little bit holding down the shift key there are other ways to do this that are quicker that i could show you that i'm not going to show you right now all right but I'll, I'll, we'll get to that some other time it's, it's, it has to do with setting up templates and uh, making these frames so that we drop it in it automatically does what i just did but we're not going to go through that right now so that's that's what we got right there um so now i want to get a couple images and i've got some text here that's set up I want to get a couple of the images uh, just to just kind of describe it, overall stuff. I'm going to get those straight from Google Earth so that, the, so that we've got uh, some good stuff. So let's see what's going on. If I zoom in on this guy, let's see what's going on with my tour guide. What does it give me? Does it give me anything? Yeah, some weird stuff. I'm going to instead, um, I'm going to want to view that sidebar, and I'm going to turn on photos. Photos. And I can see all these pictures that awesome people have taken all over the world from everywhere in the Pantheon. So let's look at Acropolis et Touristis 2, the sequel. And we're waiting. Okay, so we've got this image. I'm going to click on this quick and see what comes up. There it is. Click on that one more time, see if I can look at it really big. I'm going to right click, copy. Then I'm going to go over to InDesign, paste. Uh, I'm going to get that inside the frame. And, you know, this is kind of a graphic choice, but I, I, what I've done is I've cropped these to the margins, and I probably should do that with these two uh, to be consistent. Uh, this is just so that, you know, we can print well. 
Um, so I would do this with all this stuff, just to make sure that everyone's being graphically consistent. We're keeping our margins. And you can see this is on a spread. There's a line in the middle. So this is an eight and a half by 11, it's called a spread. So you can print this out 11 by 17, you can do whatever you want. Uh, this, well, I got this in here. I'm gonna arrange this and send it to the back. And now I've got this text, get rid of this gray box. Oops, what did I just get rid of? I just got rid of the image. Boom, boom, just deselect. There we go. Uh, and I wanna get a little bit of text in here. So I, what do I wanna put in there? Uh, very good question. So let's see, what, is, what does this have to say about it? Um, uh, let's just take this next paragraph. Copy. Um, and we'll say, we'll give this, it looked like the first thing on there was something about the etymology, right? Etymology, the study of words. Words are important. It's never just words. Never, ever. I'm get rid of these weird characters that they keep giving me. So there we go. I've got some stuff about the etymology of uh, the word Parthenon and what it means to this building. It's a little off center. I'm going to see if I can slide it over a little bit. There we go. Oh, too far. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Good. Uh, I'm going to do one more image. Um, that's what it tells me to do. Uh, let's see. What else have I got for Parthenon image? I, I like these little detail shots. But I might want to hold on that until I get to materials. Let me just see if I can get another overall image of the Parthenon. Let's see what else um, uh, what else this gives me. Uh, let's go back to Google Earth. How about a shot from inside? That could be really interesting. Let's see what that looks like. Terrible. How about a, a different one? How about this one? Also terrible. Let's try over here. Eh, it doesn't really tell me anything else than I just had in there. How about right there? What is that? Weird. Okay, fine. Come on, somebody give me something. Ooh, funky. Weird, but also not telling me anything else. But it's on the back side, so maybe I can make that work. So this one? Yeah, so let's look at this. You can also do this the easy way, right? I can just go Parthenon. Parthenon, that's how we spell. And I can go to images and find something that excites me this way. Um, you know, maybe this is cool because it's got lightning. And, you know, what, what could possibly be wrong with lightning? Uh, nothing ever goes wrong with lightning. Um, this could be interesting, too, because it's kind of the original uh, image. But I, I'm just, I'm just going to go with, uh, let's just do this. Come on, Googles. Oh, whatever. View the image. There. It's kind of small. I don't know if I want that. Um, do this. Copy. InDesign. Paste. Display. Order. Arrange. Send to back. I'm going to click over here to deselect it. Delete that other gray box. And I'm going to click on this and take the frame down, pull the frame down to here, something like that. And then I can see this little guy in the middle, this little circle that shows up when I hover. That's, that allows me to move the image around inside the frame. So I'm going to move it up. And I can see that little brown border is telling me where the edge of the actual image is. So I'm going to go like to there. And I want that border out. Go away, border. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now I need another paragraph of text. So let's see, I'll go back to Parthenon here. Um, where was I? I was in the etymology. Uh, let's go, let's take this little guy right here. This is a little, nice little overview bit of text. And hopefully you've got a document somewhere already, like a Word doc that lets you know all about that stuff. Um, and let's just, uh, what do we want to say that this is? Temple uh, slash sanctuary. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. We'll just say that that's what that paragraph's about. So there's my there it is. Those are my first few pages. Now I'm on to the plan. So how do I want to get a plan? I want to go to here, but I also want to wait because I'm almost at the end. So this is the end of the first one. That gets us through the first few pages. When we get back, we'll look at plan and uh, detail.
Later.